Hey guys, welcome back to Sensei's Journey. Uh, the last few episodes we talked about um, the different types of uh, muscular training. We talked about strength, uh, hypertrophy, which is size, uh, and muscular endurance training. Uh, today we're going to take a little bit of break from that and talk about some topical things. And this topic being, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I had COVID for a little while. Um, all of my tests came back negative, um, but I had all of the symptoms, like the, those symptoms. I was absolutely completely tired all the time, headache, nausea, um, feeling dizzy, um, my, my cardio was completely trashed. I could barely, I tried to walk around the block one day and I felt like I ran 10 miles. So, I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous, um, the amount of uh, symptoms I had and uh, I'm currently feeling the after effects of just coming out of being ill um, I'm basically uh, all of the cardio that I built up during uh, the lockdown with all my running and shadow boxing and calisthenics and all that other stuff all of that's gone like I went to the gym yesterday to record some things for um, another real anime training video that we've got coming up later and I, it was horrible how bad my stamina was. My strength took a little bit of a hit. I am I'm I'm weaker, obviously, you know, than I was. But the biggest hit was definitely my my cardio, and my stamina in general. Um, it sucks a lot because uh, I I did a lot of work to try to get my cardio back up to to like fight level to be able to maybe uh, to do some some fights next year just to just for the heck of it and I feel like I basically have to start over which sucks a lot uh, and it's very discouraging um, but it is what is it what it is I can't really do anything else about it I just have to you know deal with the fact that I uh, didn't feel well and that's so so, so that's something that I kind of want to talk about in this video is um, starting over um, there's various periods in your life that you're going to feel like I'm that you're starting over with your fitness. Um, and that may come after a period of illness that may come after a period of, um, depression or being, um, you know, having something really difficult happen in your life. You may have to work two jobs. Uh, you may have to, um, you know, work three jobs. You may have to, um, take care of a, of a elderly parent. Um, or you may have like seven kids. Um, there's just things that are going to get in the way sometimes of your fitness for a, for a time period. Um, and that's okay. You just come back to it and you pick it up wherever you are. And that's fine. Um, you do what you can while you're, while you're able to during the, you know, the layoff and then you uh, you come back as strong as you as you can um, it's really just about making sure that whenever you come back that you focus on whatever your goals are that you're really uh, pointed in that direction so you know here I am post a lot of lockdown post COVID um, I didn't lose as much weight as I wanted to because of being sick um, and also um, you know, when I, I guess when I'm sick, I, I just, I wanted to eat to make myself feel better. Eating your feelings is never good. Uh, so I'm back on the weight loss train, um, from when I was bulking previously. Um, so let me, let me ex ex kind of break down how frustrating this whole process is. I did a lot of bulking, um, like getting stronger in 2019. Um, and then, you know, I, changed jobs, you know, that was fine. And then lockdown happened. I didn't have access to any weights and I was just pretty much stuck with running calisthenics and um, like shadow boxing and whatnot. Um, and then a lot of my size and strength, you know, died from that. Um, and But I got my cardio back, which I was excited about. And then COVID came along and punched me in the gut. And now I don't have that either. So <laughs> I feel like I'm really far put back in the other direction. Um, but that's okay. I have the, the means, the tools, and the knowledge to be able to go back to where I would like to be. I just have to get in my mind the process of, uh, of doing that. Um, so you, that 
let me know in the comments if there's anything that you have run into that sets you back, that makes you feel like you're going to have to start over and it's really frustrating for you. Um, get a conversation going about it just because if you have any particular issues that maybe even you're going through right now that you need to deal with or you try to find a way around to be able to do your, your training now, let me know. Uh, maybe I can help. Um, yep, yeah, so this, this since this journey is just a little short, you know, thing here. Uh, I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what I was doing and also how I was feeling post sickness because I know the guy, m those of you who follow me on Twitter at the anime trainer, um, you guys obviously know because I've, I've kind of kept everybody up to date on that. Uh, so for all you YouTube people, uh, if you, uh, if you want to know more about what I'm doing on a, like a day to day basis or just kind of see like a, a less you know, scripted version of me, uh, that is definitely on my Twitter. Um, like I said, at the anime trainer. Um, thank you guys very much for sitting down and watching this, uh, little update. I know that you guys have some questions every now and again about what I'm up to. So I just wanted to get you guys up to speed. Um, until next time guys, good luck and train hard.